The View About to be Cancelled After Sexual Thing They Aired on TV About Donald and Melania, Just When We Think Rabid Liberals Can't Go Any Lower. They Managed to Outdo Themselves and Prove Us Wrong. This Time It's the Yentis from the TV Show Called The View Again. Joy Beer who isn't very joyous at all once again went after our newly elected President Donald Trump. This time she went after him for tweeting at night. Saying he does this because our First Lady Melania Trump is living in Manhattan while Barron is finishing out his school year. Adding that since they are apart he isn't getting any sex and that's why he turns to tweeting in the middle of the night. Hi. Town and Country Magazine reports, for the first months of Donald Trump's presidency, his wife Melania has largely kept out of the public eye, so much so that her notable absence from the duties of a modern first lady has prompted speculation regarding both her marriage and her state of mind. As she and Barron make their move to D.C. this summer, many are left wondering what, if anything, we can expect to see change about her position in the Trump administration. As of right now, Melania's staff consists of just a handful of advisors, Chief of Staff Lindsay Reynolds, Social Secretary Anna Christina Nysta Lloyd, Senior Advisor Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, and Communications Director Stephanie Grisham. There are no requirements for how many federal employees should operate out of the East Wing of the White House, but given the precedent set by Michelle Obama, who had a staff of 24, Laura Bush, who had a team of 18, and Hillary Clinton, who had 19, we can expect Melania to hire few more people and she could influence who works for her husband. Much like the president, Melania is concerned about the chaotic state in which the White House has found itself in recent weeks. She was really concerned that Spicer was not doing a good job, that they were not proactive in defending the president, a source told Politico. The leaks bother her. She believes a lot of people are more interested in serving themselves than him. Loyalty and the opinions of those who have known him longest are of utmost importance to President Trump, and the opinions of another close family member could sway his decisions about who stays and who goes. She'll continue to put her touch on the White House decor. After the initial announcement that Tom Connellixum would serve as White House decorator, we've heard very little about the changes Melania is making to the first family's residence. Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, senior advisor to the First Lady, told WWD, MRS. Trump has a deep appreciation for the historical aspects of the White House and with Tom's traditional design and expertise, they are focusing on a seamless integration of elegance and comfort into where the President, the First Lady, and their son Barron will be spending their family time and calling their home. One can imagine she'll want to show off the space once she settles in. The New York Post reports, Melania plans to pack up and head to Washington once Barron, 11, finishes his year at Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, Fox News reported Saturday. The Post first reported in November that the First Lady and President Trump would live apart for the first months of his presidency. But since then, rumors have flown that mother and son might remain at Trump Tower permanently. Barron will be the first son of a president to live in the White House in more than 50 years since an infant John F. Kennedy Jr. arrived there in 1961. Melania has taken an active part in arranging the residence ahead of the move, a senior aide said. But their quarters in the 200-year-old building will be cramped compared to Trump Tower, where Barron reportedly has an entire floor to himself. After that sick liberal scumbag Beher called the president all the names in the book, and even going as far as saying he has dementia, she states he is doing the twitting because of lack of sex. This woman has to have some kind of mental disorder. She just can't be right. She has taken a huge fall off of his short bus after Donald Trump won the presidential election. I just hope she doesn't hurt herself, or anyone else before she can get some much needed help. The view has been around for 20 years. I will admit I have never seen an actual episode because I do have a real job and have to pay bills. To write this I just spent the past hour watching a few clips on YouTube, that's an hour of my life which I will never get back. How do people even watch this show? I thought the Jerry Springer show from the 90s was bad, but at least that one was mildly entertaining because it never took itself seriously. My guess is the only people who take the time to watch this garbage, in the time slot it's on, are Obama's welfare recipients he liked so much.
there is no way any working person with at least an IQ of 80 can stand to see more than just a short clip of this crap of a show. On a side note, by the looks of the picture above, I'm pretty sure Beher hasn't had sex since at least the early 90s herself. So maybe it's time she stops opining about our president's sex life and starts worrying about herself instead. Don't you think? Please share if you feel the view should have been cancelled 20 years ago. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.